What's going on, guys and gals? How y'all doing this morning? We're going to do a really quick recipe this morning. Um, this is going to be called dill shrimp spread. So just kind of follow me along. All right, we're going to simply start off with these three ingredients first. If there are more ingredients to go into it, but we're going to have a package of unflavored gelatin, um, um, three tablespoons of water, and a can of cream of mushroom soup. Okay, I've added that. Make sure your water is cold. And we added that in there. We're just going to stir it around and dissolve um, some of the gelatin here. Now this, paper, this part right here takes a little while. That's why we're kind of doing it stepwise. And we're going to let that sit for about five minutes. Now you're also gonna need some cream cheese, about six ounces. Each one of these holds about eight ounces. I've used this one a little bit, guys, so I've got this one's a full one right here. So you're gonna add that to the cream of mushroom soup. Um, and see our, our gelatin is already congealed here. Uh, and we're gonna add all that together. All right, we've added our can of cream of mushroom soup. We don't have to add any water or anything to this. To this, we're gonna add our uh, gelatin and let it dissolve and we're also going to add our cream cheese okay we've got our gelatin in there we're just going to let that dissolve here you're cooking this on medium heat again you just kind of want that gelatin to dissolve and we're going to add our cream cheese all right, we've added in our cream cheese. We're gonna let that dissolve here. And then once all this stuff is dissolved, guys, you got a waiting period here. So that's why I'm doing this this morning. So when I come home for lunch um, this afternoon, um, it'll already be cool. All righty, that's what it looks like once everything starts to get kind of dissolved. And it smells great already, man. That cream of mushroom soup. And again, this calls for regular cream cheese, but I've got some of the ones with jalapenos in there. So it's going to be delicious. My wife normally makes this, but I had a taste for it and I'm kind of on a semi diet. And so I wanted something that I knew I could eat that's not going to interfere with indigestion and all that good stuff. And again, we're gonna let this cool down, turn the heat off, let it cool down, and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. All right, guys, this is the rest of the ingredients here. And you know, this started out to be a, a dill shrimp spread, but now, you know, I was in the grocery store and I saw these doggone crab meat, which is imitation crab meat, which is basically white fish. And I saw the shrimp in there, so you're gonna need about you know, a half a pound. So we'll we'll do um, a fourth of a pound of each one of those. You're gonna need some dill weed. You're gonna need about um, a half a cup of parsley. You're gonna need a half a cup of sour cream. You're gonna need a half a cup of mayonnaise. You need a half a cup of diced celery. Half a cup of of green onions. A little bit of pepper sauce and a couple of. Uh, a tablespoon full or so of lemon juice and we're gonna mix all that stuff together our I started this this morning before I went to work and now our our um, mixture with the gelatin is already cooled and so we're gonna mix all that stuff in there so we got our mayonnaise in there this is our half a cup of sour cream which we'll have to get the rest of that out with a spoon and we're not going to go over these individual steps, guys. I'll, I'll show me mixing it. So we got our half a cup of green onions and our half a cup of celery and a half a cup of sour cream in there and a mayonnaise. And we're going to put our half a cup of parsley in there now. All right. And that little tube is four ounces, which is exactly a half a cup of parsley. I mean, yeah, I could have bought some chopped parsley and it would have done the same thing, but um, we're looking for convenience. All right, we put in two tablespoons of lemon juice, put in a fourth of a teaspoonful of dill weed. And actually I used about a teaspoonful, guys. 
I like dill weed, so I don't think you can go wrong with that. And then we're going to add our pepper sauce and then we'll add our shrimp and our crab. All righty, I chopped up a half a cup of, of the shrimp there that I had here. That just does not look like enough to me. So we're going to improvise here a little bit. And um, that's a half a cup. So if I'd done half of that, that would have been a fourth of a cup. And that doesn't look like much. So we're going to add a half a cup of the crab meat too. I don't think you can mess this recipe up, guys. So this is not what's written on paper. And I may jack it up, but I don't think so. All right. Now we're going to put our imitation crab meat. Now, if you have real crab meat, you can put some real crab meat in there. Okay, now we've got everything else in there. We're just going to start mixing it here. All right, we'll mix it here. And then we'll pour it into a mold. Because you want this to, to uh, actually form a mold. My wife does it with an angel. And she makes a nice little angel mold. So you want something that will hold about a six cup um um, angel or something. So I'm just going to put mine. Mine's not got to be fancy. I'm not doing it for the holidays. I'm just going to do mine on a glass platter. All right. Once we get it all mixed up, we're going to put it in a little glass bowl. Again, if you're doing something fancy smancy, you can get your little angel shaped dish and make it look like an angel. If it's at Christmas time, if you're just a pig and you just want something to eat, this low carb and keto and all that good stuff, then this is the way to go. Alrighty, that's what you got. And then what you'll do is stick that in the refrigerator for a little while, for about four hours or so. It will congeal. And then you can serve this with crackers or serve it with um, a piece of bread, or you can just eat it by itself. I usually eat it by itself, guys. It's quick and easy does take a little bit of time to do it um, and sometimes you got to make a recipe your own but try guys it is a delicious low carb um, I'm not gonna say low fat because it's got a lot of cream cheese and mayonnaise and things like that but it is something that you can eat on a low carb keto diet because it doesn't have any of those bad carbohydrates that people are trying to stay away from y'all take care we'll catch you the next time